Now, our Ronald Masinda visited former Proteus bowler Lenoir Botsotsobe at his home in Port Elizabeth recently. And here's how the 35 year olds look back on his cricketing career. When did your journey start? I think, um, firstly, let me say thanks for you guys coming out uh, to PE and uh, do this interview. Uh, my journey actually started uh, at a very young age um, in a suburb called uh, Guamataiki. Um, we were playing in the streets, playing in the park with uh, crates and um, tennis balls, you know, wrapping around, wrap, wrap them around with um, uh, insulation tape. And uh, that's how it basically started. And I went through the, 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 the ranks, you know, um, Trust Bank that time. And um, yeah, 2008, of course, was a very memorable year for you, making your international debut. Must have been a proud moment for you and your family. Yeah, it was actually. You know, um, I think that's 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 actually one thing that I I've always prayed for. Um, I wanted to represent uh, my country, and uh, it was something that we were always fighting with with my mom. You know, uh, we were praying for. And um, it happened when I was in East London, like you said. Uh, I was playing for the Warriors that time. The coach was Russell Domingo. And I was sitting in my room, and he called me. and was like, Lopsy, can I please see you? And I was like, wow, what have I done? Because it's, 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 it's the day before the game, you know? So I don't know whether I'm going to be picked or I'm going to be told the bad news. So I went to his room, and he sat me down. He was like, dude, you've done very well. Uh, they want you um, in the in the SA setup, and I, I actually didn't know what to do. But the first person that I called was my mom to say, "Listen, thank you very much for the prayers. Um, it's finally happened, and um, I'm sure I'll, I'll make you proud." 2017, almost two years to the day when you copped that ban. Just talk to us about <coughs> the early stages of that investigation. Were you concerned when Cricket South Africa made the announcement that they, you know, there could be elements of corruption during that 2015-2016 Grand Slam T20? <coughs> yeah, um, it was it was a bit shocking, but um, you know sometimes you, 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 you as as youngsters you, you tend to overlook things, you know. And um, it, 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 it's, it's not something that I would like to go deeply into because it will bring back the old memories of which I don't want to go back to. But, um, you know, I've, I've learned my lesson. Um, it's something that I would teach other kids not to get involved in. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a very difficult situation something taken away from you that you you worked hard for and you know you love you know because at the end of the day cricket is my passion you know it's what i used to uh, well even now i eat sleep drink it's basically cricket 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 all right without delving too deep into what unfolded uh, what was promised to you because you were approached by the people who wanted you to be involved yeah. in a spot fixing? Well, there's, there's, the, they were more concerned about, they saw that my career was coming to an end, and uh, they were more concerned about my future, you know, what were my plans for future. So as a person that's thinking that, oh, well, my career is coming to an end, you actually don't even see what these people are trying to do you understand so that's I think that's one mistake that I did and um, that's that's how it unfolded